Hello and welcome to Hunters TV. The Hunters are just hours away from kicking off their campaign for Vodafone PBL Season 3. We play the Northeastern Warriors in our first game and the players are determined to make the best possible start. Before we go any further, let's begin with the headlines. Guwahati hosts a magnificent opening ceremony to kick off the Vodafone PBL Season 3. Hunters to face Northeastern Warriors in their opening game, Hunters TV has an exclusive chat with three emerging young players of the Hunters franchise. Of course, it feels uh, absolutely amazing to be here. I feel extremely privileged to be a part of it because it's it's an event everyone looks forward to in Indian badminton now. Right. Being one of the few who get a chance to be here, I feel extremely privileged. It's a very big thing for me. I'm a junior and I'm really happy that, to be in uh, Hyderabad Hunters and I'm really thankful to them for uh, giving me this opportunity. I'm quite happy uh, to be uh, selected in PBL. Uh, actually, it's quite a big thing for me because uh, Carolina Marine is in uh, in my team. Actually, I'm in her team. Okay. <laughs> and she's also a lefty. Right. So, and, uh, so I can learn a lot from her. Personally, I feel that in terms of opportunity that women and girls have in sports, uh, it is not really less than boys. Maybe yes, a few years back it was, but in today's time, uh, opportunity-wise, we stand at par with them. There are many examples today in today's sports. Uh, uh, they have proven them. Uh, let's say Mary Pop. She won, two, uh, she won three world championships before her marriage and after her marriage, she, after having two twins, she won two, uh, uh, another consecutive world championship gold medal. Even uh, let's say about Sindhu Saina, uh, they are the two persons who have uh, clinched uh, Olympic medals, Sindhu uh, clinching uh, silver and Saina bronze. I mean, uh, in, in Indian badminton, they are the only two women. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully, someday Rasika will do the goal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This year, I mean, the next coming year, 2018, I'm aiming to get into the top 50. That's my first aim right now. And uh, like Linda, I, I, mean, I want to be a five times world champion and two times Olympic champion. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I would like to go step by step and uh, right now uh, just one step is done to reach the 
clinical. Uh, so uh, I would say the next year I want to uh, improve my international performance. As of now, my aim is to play a world junior, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and of my future aim is to play the Olympics, even though I'm young. Yeah, so 2012 final, 2016. Since who knows 2020? I, I, I hope you guys play finals. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is never giving up. There have been times that I was just there, but I couldn't get it. But I've never given given up. I remember like there was a national and I was uh, playing my under 13 first round. That was my first main national ever. I was 2016 down and. Uh, then I won 2020. So that's the thing. Like, if I don't give up. I just want to enjoy every point, every chapter. Uh, that is what helps me play my best as well. So I, I always look forward to enjoying the game and I play because I enjoy it. Smiling, angry. When I won my first All India title, winning a match against the top seed Akash. Music, swimming, bliss, <laughs> bowling, Swadhilai, uh, Italy. Keep following us. Keep cheering us really loud. And go Hunters. <laughs> keep loving and supporting us. Go Hunters. Over the next 23 days, eight teams will crisscross the length and breadth of our nation to get a hold of that trophy. Hopefully, holding it at the end will be the Hyderabad Hunters. We hope the Q, as part of the Hunters Army, will continue to cheer us and support us all the way through. So that, friends, was this episode of Hunters Team. Hope you enjoyed it and will join us the next time. Until the next episode of Hunters TV, from Guwahati, this is Venus signing off. Thank you.